I'm Carlton Reed of BikeBiz.com, and welcome to this Eurobike edition of the Cycling News and Views podcast. Now, Eurobike takes place in Friedrichshafen every year and is the bike trade's first glimpse of lots of new products, some of which are <coughs> um, interesting, others are very, very commercial. You make your mind up. Cannondale was at the show launching its 30mm bottom bracket standard to the industry. Here's Jeff McGuane, President of Cannondale Europe. The press conference here today is, to, is an open source um, uh, strategy to allow us to uh, open this up to every manufacturer uh, based on the performance benefits that we believe uh, this standard can contribute to the end consumer. It creates a faster, lighter, uh, and uh, a more flex-resistant uh, uh, bottom bracket interface, and we believe will help uh, create a more enjoyable experience for consumers. Here we have the new Cannondale Carbon Rush. This is a full monocoque front end, aluminium rear end, and it has the system integrated stem steerer. This is a stem and steerer all made as one piece using a new manufacturing process, 6D forging. This is 3D forged twice. We have a 3D forging process for the stem and then also the steerer. This makes it very hollow and very light, almost 30% weight savings over the two-piece system. You can put in your head wrench, which is a new multi-tool that we have, also fits in here. It's also compatible with our new lithium-ion stem light developed in conjunction with the USE. So you have total integration, stem light, headset tool, stem steerer, integrated headset bearings in the frame, the lefty fork of course with the integrated lefty hub. This is the new lefty speed SL fork. This is 110 mil travel, lockout and rebound adjust. It is the lightest stiffest fork in the industry at 2.7 pounds. Orange was showing two prototype gearbox bikes, including this one using a Suntour 7 speed box. Even the dropouts are carbon on the lightest race ready bikes of the show. Here's Ian Hughes, General Manager of Scotch UK. Uh, the Attic, first of all, is the lightest road bike in the world. Uh, the complete bike will weigh 13 pounds, and the frame set will weigh an amazing featherly 790 grams. The Spark is a new full suspension bike, again using the new integrated moulding process of uh, the top tube, head tube and down tube all made in one. We wanted to come up with a full suspension frame and shock that weighed under four pounds. And the whole frame weighs 3.9 pounds, so again it's the lightest full suspension frame in the world. Bowling bike maker Dahon used a contortionist to attract crowds to see the companies in the bikes. A Qatari Sheikh commissioned Salitalia to make this golden saddle. It's encrusted with 200 diamonds and worth an eye popping $64,000. Marin are now big into the hydroforming of their frame tubes which go even curvier for 2007, and the quad 4-bar linkage has been updated. Eurobike is the first international trade show of the year, and with 800 exhibitors to choose from, this video podcast has clearly just shown a tiny fraction of what was on display. There'll be more info in the next issue of Bike Biz Trade Magazine. And for the next trade show video highlights package, 
Tune into Cycling TV in October when this British broadband broadcaster beams pictures from Interbike in Las Vegas. You've been watching a video podcast from Cycling News and Views. Subscribe via iTunes for all future audio and video editions. 